It's not a trick question. We both need to know exactly how much business we have to work with, particularly if, as you say, you want to keep some of your staff. No, all of my staff. Orders. Mm-hmm. Yes. What about Jenny Sumner? We pitched for that contract ourselves. And I saw in your diary... Sorry, that sounds like I invaded your privacy. I saw in the office diary that you had a meeting with Jenny this morning. I could call her. I won that contract. It stays with me. There's no I or me here now, Carla. It's we. We're partners again, just like before. This isn't going to work. I admit it scores high on degree of difficulty, but I like a challenge. I usually get my own way eventually. Oh, you know this can't work. You know damn well. You just want to drive me out. No. No. Buy you out. I had a feeling you might react like this, so I prepared you an offer. Now this is a today-only price. Take it or leave it, but if you don't want to work with me, I suggest you take it, because... I'm not going anywhere. And we'll be back. You really think I'd sell you my business? <laughs> you expect me to take this? This is less than half what my share's worth. After everything you put me through, I'd say I'm being generous. Put you through? And if working with me is so hard, then surely quibbling about money, well... It's just a waste of time, isn't it? You're lucky you're not behind bars yourself, all the lies you've told. Oh, you really are as stupid as you look, aren't you? She lied to you as much as anyone. Difference is, you believed her. Ladies, please. Carla. Carla. It's a serious offer. And when you've stopped being quite so hysterical, you might realise that taking it is the best thing for both of us. <laughs> And that's for you. Thank you, love. Hi, is Peter around? No, he's not. He's uh, gone to see Simon's headmaster. He's been in trouble at school. Oh, right. Hardly surprising, really. His world's been turned upside down. Right. We all feel for you, Carla. And what you've been through. But did that give you the right to blow a family apart? Well, you know, I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. You were quite happy being his bit on the side, were you? Never thought of setting up home together. Leanne would have found out eventually, Carly. You'd have made sure of that. Oh, and you think pointing the finger's gonna help, do you? Peter, leave it. It's, it's OK. Anyway, thanks for filling in, Deirdre. You can go now. Can I come with you? Yeah, of course. Where's Leanne coming home? Why? You think she's gonna be any more impressed with this sort of behaviour than we are, hmm? Come on, mate. Let's go and see what's for tea, eh? Are you going to be honouring us with your presence? Um, yeah, yeah, of course. All right, see you later, fella. Be good. Bye. Bad day? You won't believe what he's done now. I mean, I know we're only the umpa lump, but your brain's behind your trouser pockets. Do you know what? I would beat the living daylights out of him if I didn't think I was playing into his hands. And even then, it's still tempting. I know, it was bad enough when he walked in with Sally trotting behind him like she should have been on a lead. And then he pulled this offer out of his pocket and I just thought, I can't win. I've really had enough. Well, in that case, you know, maybe you ought to take it. What? Take the money. Peter. Do you know what? I was this close today just to losing it with Sai's si headmaster. You know, his snide comments. And that's not to mention what all this is doing to Sai. Si. And then on top of that, this flank, and he's going to be in your face every day. It's a little stunt here, a wind up there, until he pushes you or me over the edge. But it wasn't even a decent offer. I mean, it was nowhere near. Even so, this is what our lives are going to be like if we stay around here. Why don't we both sell up and start again somewhere else? Have a new life, Carla. Because I don't want you to go. I'm your best friend. 
And to be honest with you, the thought of Frank getting his hands on the factory and paying peanuts for it... I mean, can you really afford to throw that sort of money away? No, but we'd... we'd have enough to make a fresh start. Well, and that's another thing. Move away where? Well, I don't know anywhere that's not here. I mean, that's all we've discussed, really. It depends. All right. And say you do go. Run away. Frank would make sure that everyone round here knew that he was the victim. You and Peter conspired to ruin him and failed. He doesn't just win, Carla. You lose. So was it peace talks then in the office? Well, he did his best, but Julie, uh, love, there's as much chance of peace between them two as the you being natural blonde. I'll get first round in. Uh, white wine and half a lager, love, tar. Why not? Hey, uh, Frank's moved back into Underworld. Well, why not? He is the innocent one. I have to say that Mrs. Connor has always convinced me that she was telling the truth. Yeah, well, some people are very gullible. It's not surprising blokes reckon women mess with their heads with the likes of her out there, playing games. What's this? Oh, we're just talking about Carla and Frank. Oh. Well, my love, be very careful what you say. <laughs> Whiskey, please, Carl. I've just had the intimation of physical violence by the remaining member that ill-starred threesome. Peter? Bucky's know some very unsavoury sorts. Oh, it's all the boozing and gambling circles he moves in. He probably put Carla up to it, ruining Frank and taking her share of the factory for nothing. Well, from what I heard, she didn't bother that he had a wife in Kitty when she got her claws into him. Oh, they make a right pair. You see, once we've gone, them lot can say whatever they like, because as long as I don't have to listen to them, I don't give a damn. Oh, Mrs Connor. Shouldn't be allowed to 